What's up guys, Lomax here, and welcome back to another episode of our Gage Let's Play. In the last episode, we returned to Sanctuary after it took liftoff, and now we're ready to start the Clan War questline. Gang Wars? Love them. There's one emblem. And two. So we just gotta go ahead and blow up some stuff, sounds like. And piss some people off. Pretty easy to do in Borderlands, common theme. Is this thing gonna blow up? There it is. Alright, DT, do your thing. Throw that on there, and then we're gonna get out of here. We're gonna go to Overlook. There's a lot of traveling in this quest line. We're constantly going from uh, from here to the dust, back and forth. Now we gotta sabotage this one. Favorite line ever. Piss on me eyes. You didn't see the bastard who destroyed my distillery, did ya? Nope. Let me get you a drink. Nick, you're too slow for me, man. We're gonna go back to the dust and we're gonna blow some stuff up. So I feel like it's kinda tricky to actually get all of them uh at the same time, because you never know how the car and G is gonna work. Sometimes, like, I think the last time I did this, I had two cars yet stuck in there. They all spawn in there. I'm, I'm assuming one in each one, but I had two of them in the same one. It was really weird. So then only one went around, and then I had to go kill the other two that were still in the garage. All right, let's move the car off the bridge so we don't blow it up. I've done that too many times. Put it here. It should be good. We'll see how many we can get. I don't, I don't know. It really depends on the RNG. At least this time, they're all... Little not stuck in a garage. Hopefully they'll actually hit the bridge at the same time. Usually there's one way ahead of the other ones. I got them all? Wow. And I blew up my car. Nice. I thought my car would be fine. Guess not. Meanwhile, no one has any idea that I'm doing this, right? Like, their camp is right here. No one has any idea that I'm behind all this. No witnesses, I guess, right? Ellie, where the hell are you? Why are you way over here? Hey, Jimbo. Back to the bar. Do all of the Zaffrons live in this building? Like, it's kind of weird. All right, we gotta get this dead drop. Random echo that's just sitting here that no one has seemed to notice, and I can't actually listen to it. What the hell? There we go. Yeah, no one saw me go in here or anything. We'll be a little patient here, because, again, if we get too close to him, we're going to fail this mission. I think as soon as we see him go by there, we're good. He's actually going pretty quick, too. He's got a little a little pep in his step. Easy. How much money does this actually give? So, about 2100 Eh, 300 Then we're going to open the exit. We don't need the money. Ooh, level 20. Wow, level 20. Holy crap. I'm going to take both of these things, though. But we're going to gain some levels when we do some farming. We're going to try and get a slaga at the end of this, so... We're going to need to because we're, we're so under-leveled right now. I think level 20 is the next mission, but we can take Tector to 21. Don't mind me. Nothing happened down there. Ha ha ha, they'll never know. Now we go back to the dust once again. It's just back and forth. We just go back and forth until eventually we get to the end of this quest line. But this Sligo that we're going to try to farm is going to be... We, we can pretty much hold it for the rest of the story. Or the rest of the story. We can hold it for the rest of our playthrough. Like, we can use it in UVHM, TVHM for sure, because... You really don't need the damage from it. You just really... The slag is what's important, and it's a pretty good slagging weapon. Is that a, um... That's a bandit technical. Why Why is a bandit technical here? Are we? So we're gonna, we're gonna start going down towards Discord, so smaller, lighter, faster it is. And honestly, we probably don't need close enough at this point, and when I say probably, I mean we definitely don't need close enough at this point, but... I don't feel like respecting. It's not the end of the world. Stash, 
Hey man, we didn't murder him like an animal. We didn't like chop him up and eat his body parts. Oh, I didn't. I don't know. Maybe the Odox did. I have no idea. I ain't no cannibal. Nothing, Tector. Go back to sleep. Where the hell is he, by the way, during this whole thing? Alright, please don't shoot my car. Don't shoot my car. Get me in the car. Don't blow up the car. Please don't blow up the car. It's gone. I'm dead. Okay. Yikes. I'm trying, man. Death trap. Kill something. Do better. Thanks. Hey, oh. Now we go back to the Hodunks who we just murdered. It's so weird. You think, you know, Tector or Mick could, like, take two steps and be looking in the right place to see who's doing all this stuff, and yet they are completely oblivious. Do they not see the Hodunks attacking me? Do they not see me running them over? All right, so we're going to go to Sanctuary. Get some booze. Get a little liquored up for this funeral. It seems like the appropriate thing to do. Alright, back to Overlook. So I have no idea what happens if you, um... If you do this quest, right, and you're not drunk? You probably... It probably doesn't matter. Like, I think as long as that box gets checked off the previous one about, you know, having three drinks, I think you're fine. I think you can do this, no problem. Even if, you know, if, if I were to save and quit now, I don't think this drunk effect would be on me. But I think I can still get in. I don't really want to try it, though, because I don't want anything to break. I'm going to throw one of these. Hopefully it doesn't bounce back and hit me in the face, and it kind of did. That's still not everyone, huh? That should be almost everyone. One more guy. Where the hell is he? Boom. All right. He was not there. Cool crashes awake. Was That would be what he would say. If I didn't leave there. So we're going to go back to Ellie now and uh, finish this thing. And then we have a lot of farming to do. We have like four levels of farming to do. That's not true. I could leave anytime. So you could actually, if I were to just kill Tector, right? Maybe a couple grunts. But as long as you don't kill all the grunts, you can actually still choose Mick. But we're just going to kill Hector and all the Hodunks. That way we can spawn at the Lynchwood train, and then we can just keep uh, keep killing them. The important thing here, though, is we need to make sure we still have grenades, like, every every run, because that's how we're going to be doing this kill. Contraband Skyrocket. We'll toss out DT, and then we'll throw a Skyrocket. Eyes with no one. Eyes with me. Can I jump on? Yeah, you can. Look at that. You can jump on someone's head to start the war. All right. Don't. Ah! Death trap kill something, please. Oh, boy. That backfired. That backfired. No! <laughs> Gage, why? You're so young. Yeah, Skyrocket can be tricky. I also am out of two nades now. Two or three, I can't remember how many I used. There we go, that's better. See, he's still alive? Jesus Christ, now he sounds like a Goliath. Oh. Where are you, Mick? Hey, come here. Shoe lane, hell yeah. And no death trap right now, but he's gonna respawn here, and then, then we're just saving and quitting. We're gonna, Obviously, we're not gonna be able to gain anarchy. That's what the Skyrocket's for. Hey, look at that. 19. We're gonna farm this to 21, but we have the Sliga covered already. Alright, nice. 18, so we're gonna throw another point into smaller, lighter, faster. Alright, DT, go! Another one. Oh, nice! We can use this until we can get to the other one. Another one. Level 19 murdering Sliga. That one has better damage. Level 19, another point in Smaller, Lighter, Faster, and pretty soon we're going to have that maxed out. A Hulk. Nice, that's, uh, that's a nice uh, shotgun to have. There we go, level 20. 
We're going to throw their points into smaller, lighter, faster. We're going to go Robot Rampage next to give Death Trap a little bit of damage. We're going to bring Death Trap out too. Celebratory last kill. Also, I don't have need, so yeah, we kind of needed to bring him out. There we go. Level 21. So we're going to go ahead and throw points into Robot Rampage, which is going to give Death Trap like a crazy melee ability. He does like a little tornado move and he just starts spinning around in circles. Now we can go to the preserve. Fully decked out. We got good gear. Really, all we need is a slag and Death Trap and we're fine. And we got to go find Mordecai, who's just sitting up at the top of this rock outcrop. Hey, Morty. Hey. All right, let's cripple uh, as many as we can. It's two and three. There we go. Okay, cool. This is always the toughest part for me because I just always tend to kill stuff. That's normally what you do in shooters, so yeah. Kind of conditioned from, um, you know, years ago. Yeah, we can kind of just breeze through here. We're, like, slightly overleveled. Plus, the Slaga is uh, gonna do quite a bit of damage. You know, hang on. We're gonna we're gonna throw on this so we can uh, build some stacks. And we don't really need the stacks here, but it's just nice to have them. We just can't die or reload. No big deal. Wow, Pyman's here, huh? So we got Pyman and Tumba. The Lion King Easter egg. He's got a pretty big shield, though. Let's see if we get a drop, though. I can't see him. He's uh, pretty hard to hit, honestly, for as big as he is. But once the shield's down, he goes down easy. All right, Tumba, Tumba should be here somewhere, too. Is that him? That's him. Ah, uh, no legendaries. We got some Iridium, though. Close enough should help with the stacking, too, because, again, any bullets we miss have a 50% chance of ricocheting. Oh yeah, right, we can just use the slag for uh, damage. A badass stalker. Badass stalker done. All right, now we got the real test. Look at this damage, though. See ya, buddy. And a new launcher. Nice. So there's a chest here, and I also forgot to pick up a mission uh, from Tannis. Did we actually just get a new rocket launcher? Wow. Okay. That one didn't last long. Yeah, we forgot to pick up Dr. Zordas. Hey, we still got a loot midget, though. I almost finished my comic collection. Eh, just a bunch of money. She okay? Uh, I don't know. We got a feather. Badasses or nothing. No, it wasn't. And we're only at it. 67 stacks. Can't see anything. Can't see anything. So I can't see anything. I, oh my god, I'm blind. Alright, throw the slag on. We're just gonna keep building stacks. Honestly, though, we're probably not even gonna need them. Like, we could we could run no anarchy here. And we'd be fine. Power of the slaga. But I'll take two stacks for every, uh, every one shot. We're gonna get a lot of stacks here. There's a lot of skags. And rack, too. Yeah, our accuracy... So our accuracy is not horrible yet, right? We can still hit things from the medium distance. Long range, it's pretty bad. But... I mean, I don't know. It actually isn't as bad as you think. With a shotgun, obviously it's gonna be bad, because the spread's not great. But a sniper rifle... It would not be as bad as you think. But uh, we, we do have close enough, and we literally could just shoot the ground, and we're fine. We're going to kill stuff. It's it's actually stupid. And you totally don't need it yet. But it doesn't hurt. The only thing you sacrifice when you go close enough this early is a little bit of survivability. Oh, barrel, 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 barrel. Oh, no. Oh, I can't go near that fire. Death trap, save me. I can't die here. Not like this. Hey, we're good, we're good. Yeah, just shoot the ground gauge. It'll kill everything. It's fine. Oh, hello. 
What? There we go, okay. Alright, we'll open some of these and heal up a bit before we, uh... Move on. Another bit. Oh, yeah, I'm taking that. Bandit launchers are amazing. Want Bloodwing back, huh? Shame. I've been doing some really interesting iridium experiments with her. Hate to see her go. But heck with it. Bloodwing. Now, 20 times the size and uh, oh, elemental. Bloodwing down. So, Bloodwing. Is no threat with a contraband skyrocket. Fire, fire phase. You got to use the slago. That's what matters here. But after that, you just yeah, it's it's a face roll. Face roll of a fight. Uh, I wasn't. I used that way too late. All right. Oh, poor birdie. Somehow he just gains like 20 levels and starts. Uh, I don't know, he's only level 22. But he's one-shotting every single uh, badass loader. 141 stacks. Oh, wow, that was... That close enough hit, man. Where do you go turn this into Claptrap now? All right, Claptrap. Take your upgrade. Daddy, Boom! High five. Hey guys, sorry to crash your little conversation here. I'm sorry about that. So we're going to go ahead and throw a point into Blood Soap Shields. This will give us shield restoration on kill. Lose a little bit of health, but it should be offset by cooking up trouble. Wait, are you kidding me? I didn't get the thing? Ugh, I didn't get the Hyperion Bridge again. I am actually the worst. How did I not get this this fast travel twice? We went by it twice. We're gonna get it now. I'm going right for it right now. I can't believe I didn't get it at all. All right, guys, that's gonna do it for this episode. In the next one, we'll go deliver this note to the Slab King, and we'll continue with the story. Thanks for watching, guys.